Hello friends, welcome back to Mycology Exploration. We're here at the Still Air Box, the SAV, and we have slurries and WBS, wild bird seed. These came out of the pressure cooker last night. They cooled overnight. All we need to do is take the foil off and we have syringe ports. We modded the top for not only syringes, but for the air exchange. I wanted to show you the slurries. This is something new, and we've done a few videos showing you the process as we were creating them. And again, I want to share this tip that if you're able to put your still air box, the armholes against the wall, less air will get in. And then I use paper towels here. So what I do is I fumigate and we use 91% alcohol in a spray bottle. I have a glass spray bottle. So I fumigate and I clean the still air box, the SAV, and then I load everything in here. So this paper towel at the bottom is soaked with 91% alcohol. And it's kind of this self-cleaning. And then I continue to clean as I put everything inside of the still air box. And then I'm able to put it against the wall so less air is getting in. And then I use the paper towels here. So it just gives me a little bit more time and the process. And I will just move this table out from the wall here. We can do that. We can just scoot it out from the wall. And I wanted to show you these slurries. They're so amazing. And I'll do another video for you but we got the recipe from Willie's World. And the first time we made it, and you can see in some of our videos, the, the agar plate at the bottom we made was way too thick. So I'll re-sterilize since I'm putting my hands in here, <laughs> but I wanted to show you the slurries. So the liquid cultures, they just don't last forever. And nobody can really explain why the shelf life isn't as long as the slurries. So let's show you the slurry. The slurry has, it, you start with a little agar dish plate in the bottom of this big jar. <laughs> and we have a video on that. And again, I'll do another one for you if you would like. And then as it grows to the very edge of the jar, you add clean water that you've pressure cooked. So you've got an agar dish in the bottom and then you'll add the clean water and you add 200 milliliters at a time so that you can stir it and it'll break up the agar. But we noticed that even with these thinner, the thinner agar at the bottom, and it's just a simple MEA recipe that it didn't completely break up, but that's okay. And it's so clean. It's so clean. Even with the big chunks of agar in there, it's so perfect. There we go. Now you can really see. Look at that mycelium. And it's clean. <laughs> There's no contamination. We noticed with our LCs, and I'll do a video for you, they, turn, they get really dark over time. And they're unpredictable, the LCs. Some LCs have lasted a while and some have just not. But these slurries have been amazing. <laughs> the mycelium. It's working just like this. So this is a slurry. We're going to be putting the slurry into the WBS today, into these six jars. 
So I'm not going to be opening both of the slurries. I'll just open one to eliminate the risk of contamination. They're both the same. We like to do two or three slurries or LCs at a time. So that if one or two doesn't work out, we have another one. But we highly recommend the slurries. This has been amazing. Again, I'll have another video. You can go back and look at past videos where we talk about the slurries. This is not our first time to use the slurries and the WBS. And so we did a test run. We experiment with everything. So we did in our last grow, we did half the jars with slurry and half with the LCs. And the slurries, oh my goodness, record time of colonization, record time of growth, beautiful, amazing. We highly suggest. Let us know in the comments if you want to know more about the slurries. I think we're on to something. I think we're on to something here. I'm so glad we learned this from Willie's World. Again, you can go watch his video on this and grab his recipe. And then we'll be sharing how we modified, we modified our, ours. And we don't have oxygen or any kind of modded lids on these either. So the first go around, we modded lids for oxygen air exchange and it did not work out. It was really coming out of the, the modded lid when we were mixing it, swirling it, allowing the mycelium to swim. So beautiful. Okay, friends, we're gonna get to this and get some more mushrooms colonizing and growing, and we'll see you in the next video. Much love.